Welcome back to another edition of EAA. And I just wanted to do a really quick shop update because a few things have changed since the last time. And just kind of take a little break from the POV um, videos that I've been doing. I think I've done like five now, so we'll just break it up a little bit. And very briefly talk about what's going on in the shop. Uh, as you can probably tell from the opening scene there, I have a number of open spaces in the shop. That's because, partially because I've gotten rid of a few vehicles. If you guys didn't see the last video, I did the POV of the Viper Drive. Uh, talked about that car and how I really loved it and was enjoying it and da 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 da. And then I turned around and sold it. Uh, on a whim, I decided to stick a bunch of vehicles up for sale and um, it was one of them. Figured if I got my price, great. If I didn't, okay. And lo and behold, I got my price. Can't really complain, it went on to a good home. I'm happy about that. I actually thought I had a buyer for the uh, 2003 Z06. Guy kept hitting me up on it and talking to me about it. And so I was like, yeah, great. He said he was gonna come over and he's gonna come over one day and that didn't end up working out because he had to work. He said, but I'm gonna come the next day. I said, that's perfect. And then radio silence. And you guys know me, I'm not the type, I'm not gonna bug you. If you want my vehicle and you're interested, you let me know, I'm not gonna pursue you. It's the same thing if I'm buying a vehicle off of you, I'm not gonna chase you down to buy your vehicle. So um, I've since taken everything off, off offline with the exception of the wagon, uh, my Buick Roadmaster wagon. I do have it up for sale right now. And um, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I've got that one up for sale. I had a bunch of stuff done to it. I'll talk about that one really quick. I put tires on it, brakes, uh, having a new idler arm done, some front end suspension work done, gonna have an alignment done. That car will be basically perfect and be ready to go with the exception of the few cosmetic blemishes that I've talked about in other videos. That car will be ready to go and I do have it up for sale. Those cars are becoming very collectible. One just sold on BAT like a week ago and it sold for $24,000. Now it was a one owner car and only had 54,000 original miles. Mine has like 81,000 and it was a little cleaner cosmetically. All stock, wasn't lowered, didn't have the aftermarket wheels and tires or anything like that. Didn't have the tinted windows, but $24,000. So I'm asking 12 for mine, uh, the way it sits right now. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick my Kia, my daily driver up for sale. And I'm kinda gonna be like, whichever one sells, I'll keep the other one and daily drive it. So it won't hurt my feelings to keep the wagon. I think that'd be kind of a cool daily driver, even though it doesn't have all the conveniences of the Kia. It still would be a really cool daily driver. So we'll see what happens, more to come on that. Now that being said, there are a couple of vehicles that are out right now. Don't have a ton of projects going on. Eddie's basically caught up for the most part, but right now my Plymouth is out. Uh, just having some suspension stuff done. It's kind of sagging on one side, so that's going on with that. And um, let's see what else is out. The um, the wagon, I, I talked about the wagon already being out. And then the 55 that I bought several months ago is still out. Um, it seems like fix one problem, find another problem. That was the case with this. So it's actually down to Al's transmission, having some work done there. Should be done in another week or so. Then it's got to come back to Eddie, and he's got a small list of stuff to do. And hopefully that car will be good. I'll be honest with you, if I had known I was gonna get that deep into that car, I would have probably passed on it. But I'm into it now, I'm committed, so I think I'm just gonna ride it all the way out and do what I wanna do with it and um, enjoy it. So I'd like to tell you that the next video will be on that 55, but it probably won't be. It's probably gonna be a couple videos down the road, but we're getting there, we're getting there, and that is the important thing. Also, I did just buy a car yesterday. Um, I actually won it on Bring a Trailer. So if you guys really wanted to, you probably could go onto their website and figure out what vehicle it is. But um, ended up finding it. It's here in California. So um, I gotta get with the guy. Uh, I gotta get paperwork all together. I've gotta get money transferred to him. Then I gotta figure out transportation. Uh, even though it's only about, I don't know, like eight, 900 miles, something like that. It's not that bad. I don't have a trailer, so I'm not gonna run down and pick it up. And I just don't have the time to do that. So I'm gonna facilitate transportation. Um, it may be a few weeks with the way transportation's out and things like that before it's here. Kind of a cool car, actually kind of a bucket list car for me, and I don't have a lot of bucket list cars left, so, um, but this one was obtainable, and um, I noticed it before, so I ended up jumping on it, and of course, once it's here, I'll do a video on it, and I'll talk more in depth about it. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it right now. You guys are basically up to speed. I'd like to keep you up to speed. I'd like to communicate with you. You guys are my friends, and I want you to know what's going on in my life, especially as far as the car world goes. Um, but yeah, things have a little spaced out a little bit more, and and not as many vehicles in the shop. But that's okay. It's a good thing. It is a very good thing. Uh, I got some other things in the work, non-car related, that I'm I'm doing right now. So really focused on that. And um, I'll get back into the car related stuff and I'll, I'll fill you guys in as time goes by. But right now, I'll just say stuff's going on. It's good stuff. 
and um, leave it at that. So as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My PO Box and Instagram is always going to be in the description below. Guys, God bless. Take care. Have an absolutely amazing day.